I will is men back again. Yep, so a major uh, discovery. Um, I am no professional mechanic, nor am I an engineer. I might not know all about the internals of a motorcycle, especially the internals of an engine. But whatever it is that I know, I have been uh, very careful and very honest to put out information in the most honest manner, which benefits everyone. And uh, I have put to test every single information that I've shared online. Uh, it's not that, you know, I've just gone about saying things for the sake of views. I have uh, shared information with absolute integrity. And uh, that is what you see. All the information on the channel is what you see. There as the best Himalayan in the country or in the world. <laughs> An overstatement. Yes, I get it. But uh, yeah, I'm proud of it. For all that work that I've done, I have now a machine which can beat 99% of Himalayans out there, stock Himalayans, way, way, way better. Yeah, so coming back to today's video, today's video is going to be something very, very interesting and very, very helpful for a lot of people out there. This is the camshaft of the Himalayan. And I just swapped this with a tech camshaft. And the bike is just crazy. I'm testing it on a daily basis. I'm going to make a series of videos on uh, the before and after, how this has uh, changed, transformed the machine. What that additional torque um, does to the machine and how it helps you. That being said, this is the old camshaft. And all that, all those years of not knowing why the motorcycle makes that that noise so every single time the bike used to make this noise and uh, especially after riding around uh, in the heat and then once the vehicle is heated up uh, and you know you do slow speed uh, trail riding it used to make that intermittent tuck, 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 tuck. and it was it was not it was not very regular unless you are rolling slowly rolling on you would I get to hear it like that and then when you start uh, accelerating it will go away and then again when you're doing slow speed uh, riding that's about 1.5 to 2.5 or 3 at best 3k rpms you would again get to hear this and you end up wondering its detonation you could wonder um, its detonation its um, you know the valve train noise its god alone knows all that's going wrong in the engine and the funny thing is that, you know, it just turned out to be this faulty auto decompressor return spring. <laughs> as simple as that. Uh, the return spring is supposed to get this, come back, this lever, if you guys see, if you can see this fellow here, this is supposed to come back on its own. It's not supposed to stick like that. It's supposed to come back on its own. Um, I mean, yeah, there is a lot about auto de decompression that uh, the theory part of it I'm going to miss. And not because I don't know it, it's just because, you know, I don't want to bore you guys with all this. What's more important is why does the motorcycle make that ticking noise after it gets heated up? It's because of this fella. This fella has started giving up. It is not coming back to its place. This is supposed to return back to its place and only when you start revving it, that is when you go past 2k RPM, it, slowly start, it should slowly go back and make the lobe flat, the exhaust lobe flat. When this engages, there is a small bump on the exhaust lobe and what this bump does is it creates a little bit of a gap between the exhaust valve and its seat and for the uh, compression to release just a bit. So yeah, that's the thing. The thing is, this is supposed to return on its own. On a brand new camshaft, this will go back on its own. With years of use and years of hard revving and riding, quick throttle bursts and aggressive riding, things like this can happen inside your engine. It's, it's imperative that you get the entire camshaft replaced if you want to get rid of not just the noise, but something very interesting. Keep this in mind. This is a faulty auto decompressor. 
you just can't go about replacing the auto decompressor you have to replace the entire camshaft and i don't know how much this sells for this would be roughly three thousand bucks i guess three to four thousand rupees after swapping out the tech camshaft i'm like surprised i mean one two hours of riding and low speed trail riding and the bike feels just like how i left home that's the most beautiful thing that's the best part about riding around with a camshaft that hasn't failed and uh, yep that was it uh, a quick observation Let's just hope this helps. I'm trying to keep things as real as I can. Kindly subscribe to the channel. This is something that's going to help a lot of you fellas. So subscribe to the channel. Watch out for all this lovely information that I share. Maintain your bikes like I do. And uh, feel good about owning these beautiful pieces of uh, uh, imagination. And um, you know, yeah, that, that would be it. If this helped, it helped. I shall see you guys on another one. Until then, this is Ben signing out for now. Ciao.